call the regular Dixon County Commission meeting to order for October 10th, 2018. Please stand for the flag salute. I have pledged allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, approve the agenda with the uh, additional items to be is consider appro approval of documents regarding the Diamond Vista Wind Farm. Two, consider signing form DKOT 1302 to begin the program programming of the bridge project. And three, uh, which wasn't part of our agenda, consent agenda, was a check for the county attorney uh, for $20 for Miss. I'm not going to say what it's for, but $20 check. Uh, $12. $12. Oh, $12. I thought it was $20. $20 check that wasn't on our consent agenda. I make a motion we approve the agenda as amended. Second. Been moved and second. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda. Minutes of the 27th meeting. Wire payments. KDHE. $150,384.58. Utilities of $11,235.68, abatements of $322.38, and fund expenditures of $469,200.77. I'd move that we approve the consent agenda. It's been moved and seconded. I second it. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, any other discussion? The reason the fund expenditures are a little high, we have a couple of bridges. That have been paid off uh, the Eden Bridge. That was I can't remember exactly 100. It some, was a bunch, of, but yeah. it was the bulk of the payments for the Eden Bridge. Right. Yeah. 100 some thousand. And I think there's one of the, uh, one of the expenses for Union or two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. I saw them too and stuff. So that's the reason the fund expenditures are well around over 469 thousand dollars. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Most carried. Commissioners. Comments and committee reports. Uh, Lynn? Um, next Monday, there's a Central Kansas Mental Health Board meeting, and um, I will not be in attendance to that because we also, at the same time, have the Kansas Association of Counties uh, <coughs> annual meeting, and I'll be attending a board meeting, special board meeting there on Sunday uh, at Kansas City, and then we'll have our regular board meeting for the monthly meeting for Kansas Association of Counties um, on Monday and then of course the convention is the next couple of days that's all I have thank you Lynn uh, this morning uh, we had our work session uh, all department heads and elected officials uh, all the elected officials were there today so uh, good input on that uh, last Thursday I was at Fort Riley uh, North Central Regional Planning Commission is doing a joint land use study the drones and ones that are the small ones that are you know, four hundred thousand dollars, and the big ones that are eleven million. Uh, they have a they're going to start going to the Smoky Hill bombing range, and they have to have airspace. So that's uh, they're working on that. It's going to be it's a two mile wide area uh, that goes out of Clay out of Fort Riley, goes up through Clay County, goes to Ottawa, goes through Lincoln County, just catches of it and then goes to just part of Ellsworth to the Smoky Hill bombing range. Uh, right this time they have to have when they're flying those they have to have two helicopters following them so if they're you know if they lose sight of them or they get disoriented or you have to have a person every mile spotting them. How big are the uh, the, 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 the drone the big ones the, the gray eagles uh, the wingspan is probably 30 foot they can uh, arm them, arm them. They have arm them, arm them, arm them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Arm them. Weaponized. Yeah, weaponized <laughs> and stuff. Uh, but they, when they go and and the space that they want is anywhere from is from four thousand to eight thousand foot. 
and then they have to get with FFA before they, 48 hours before, so they can have that airspace. Um, you know, I didn't realize that airspace was that valuable, but it is. But the only thing that they have problem with is that can create a problem for the radar and is wind turbines and it's the magnetic field. So they don't there's no problem with going that way. And they're eventually they want to go clear to Fort Carson with the, the big ones. The big ones can well they can fly twenty four hours nonstop. So. But the smaller ones, uh, the, the ones they launch Mechanical launching, uh, those are the $400,000 ones. Uh, there's, they do them the same way. I mean, the ones, but the bigger ones, I mean, it's like a cockpit and stuff that you're setting in. And the smaller ones the same way, just not as fancy. And then they have the ones you throw up in the air. That's the old Vinton schools where they're at. They control them all from the post tool. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. But, so it was rather interesting. The Unmanned, I'm going to call the small one. They got four divisions up there, and the buildings were built for three divisions. So it was bad, weather was bad, so they had to have them all in. So you had to watch where you're walking so you didn't hurt your shins. But they do have places on them where they can put armament and arm in to drop bombs and stuff. But the cost of them, when they first developed the small ones, they were going to be like throwaways. You know, so they kind of upgraded those. Uh, as Lynn said, we'll be gone next uh, week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, to the next step of the KAC meeting. Presentation of proclamations and other public comments. We do have a presentation, proclamation to declare October 2018 as Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Uh, I will read the proclamation. Uh, County of Dixon. Commissioner's Proclamation, whereas approximately one in every 800 children are born with Down syndromes, representing 5,000 births per year in the United States, and whereas while research and early intervention have resulted in dramatic improvements in the lifespan and potential of those who are affected, more investigation is needed in the causes and treatment of Down syndrome, and whereas people with Down syndrome possess a wide range of abilities and are active participants in education, occupational, social, and recreational circles of the community, and whereas development by the National Down Syndrome Society in 1995, the Buddy Walk, is an annual event in cities across Kansas and the nation celebrating the accomplishment of children and adults with Down Syndrome, and whereas the North Central Kansas Down Syndrome Society has supported families who have children with Down Syndrome and desire to increase the support network and support groups of those with Down syndrome across our state and whereas the goal of the Buddy Walk is promote increased understanding and acceptance of people with Down syndrome while raising funds for scientific research into the causes and treatment and family support. Now, therefore, we, the Commissioners of Dixon County, do hereby claim, proclaim October, 8, October 2018 as Down Awareness Syndrome Awareness Month throughout the county and encourage all Dixon counties to work together to promote awareness of Down syndrome and to celebrate the accomplishments of their individuals and their families. I move we approve this proclamation. Second. Been in second. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Report of County Officer, Brad. Uh, in your package, you've got the uh, one set of documents, which is the K Camp loss report for the last four years. Uh, just for your review, I won't go into a lot of detail, but the one thing I noticed looking at that right off the bat was that we've had very minimal uh, losses so far this year. 
I don't want to jinx that by talking about it too much, but uh, here we're three quarters of the way through 2018, and we have, I think we've only had one loss documented, so that's pretty uh, pretty good. So hopefully that that uh, luck continues. So if you see anything on that that you question, might certainly let me know. But uh, they maintain that, that report for four years, and we've got some of the old things that are still open, but uh, most of them are already closed. So. Uh, the Purple Wave auction two weeks ago, we uh, netted uh, 14000 for the loader, uh, which was pretty decent. The I-beam sold for 1800 and the V-Cloud sold for 275 again. So uh, I think that people made arrangements to get that stuff picked up, so it went very well. Also on your agenda, you added the uh, 1302 form to approve the uh, funding for a, a bridge, which is in your packets also a letter that's addressed to John Goff from Michael Stringer to PDOT, but it's the award letter for a grant application that we've applied for some time ago for the off-system uh, bridge funding at 2330 Moon Road. That's a um, bridge that we applied for, and the, the action today when you get to that point to, to approve the 1302 form is to uh, request PDOT put that into programming. They have given us an award for funding in fiscal year 2020, so it's a ways down the road, but that's a $362,000 project total, and so it's a pretty good award to replace a, a bridge, which is actually north and east of Enterprise back uh, in a, in a one-way, on a one-way road. It serves uh, two property owners back in there. I think one of them is uh, David Mills and the other one is uh, Sturgis. So, but that's a good thing to get uh, the approval for that. And by signing 1302, that's request acknowledging that and requesting that uh, they go ahead and put that in the programming to get it done. So, uh, you've also got your in your package your year to date budget reports. Uh, again, as Janelle indicated in the department head meeting, uh, budgets look good. We're reminding all the department heads and elected officials to monitor that as we get down to the wire here in the last quarter of the year. Sales tax is down a little bit uh, for the month of July. Don't know what that's attributed to. Uh, we are excited to see what August comes in at because August we have a lot of truck stop on for sales tax. I think uh, July had 24-7, maybe June had 24-7. Since uh, Loves didn't open until August, we will see that next month. But uh, we'll just keep hoping for the best, I suppose. If you have any questions on that, we can answer those. Going back to the, and I know we've already done our budget, Brad, on corner and autopsy, I know we went way over. How much more money, I, I don't, I should remember, I should have asked this before, but I didn't know we were going to have this day. 50? For, for corn, Yeah. Uh, I know Janelle increased it. Yeah. And I mean, we had thirty thousand last year. I think she bumped it up to fifty. 50 that's what I thought it was. If I remember right, uh, we we yeah. bumped it up considerably just because we are going over now. Yeah. Uh, the cost of those has increased, and for some reason we seem to see. It seems to me like we're seeing more of them. I don't know. Well, just looking at them, I mean, that's the only one that's negative. I mean, the rest of them are all in the. You yeah, know, and almost every month, I'm sure you notice them in the accounts payable list. We've got. Oh yeah, capital capital mortuary, capital mortuary, yeah, about about eight hundred bucks. Autopsy, so, uh, it just seems as though those have been consistently increasing. So I don't know whether that's attributed to people aren't getting health care. You know, normally that's an unattended death or a suspicious death, and and if it's an unattended death, we normally no one normally will order an autopsy. If it's people that aren't going to the hospitals and aren't seeing doctors that are dying more often, or because of the healthcare costs, I don't know. Yeah. I don't have an idea. So, well, if you do, let me know. If I find <laughs> out, you'll be the second to know. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, Sarah Picking was in and uh, talked to you about a concern with drainage on the west side of Abilene. Uh, I had John and Tim go out and look at that, and uh, we actually got a. I'll hand it to you, but. It, uh, uh, print out of what they're doing out there. They're putting a, a rather substantial third class storage in. 
Uh, however, much to my surprise and, and very much pleased is they on their design they do have uh, drainage addressed for the whole their whole property, and they have got a small retention pond down in the corner that they put in with a couple pipes to slow and release that water out of the corner. And uh, they've never had that before, so the water just ran directly off that onto the picking property and the property to the south. So uh, time will tell as they get that completed how that helps. But uh, when we talk to that property owner, uh, they have addressed it, and John was under the impression that he feels like they've done sufficient, uh, taking sufficient care and design to, to address the issues. So. I've reached out to Mark Pecking and we're scheduled to go out sometime here, hopefully this week, get meet with him and Sarah and tell them what we found out. So I was also out, uh, I guess it was Monday night on the way home when it was still raining pretty good. I drove out in that area and I got some videotape of the way it was raining out there. So we're going to try to compile that as well for future use. So uh, the uh, Appraiser's office had been dealing with farm credit services. They had a 2006 settlement, uh, a personal property case that uh, had to do with uh, uh, leases that they they owned some property that they leased. To, I think MKC at the time. They were spray rigs, uh, and it's been delinquent all this time. Well, we finally were able to get with the right pop, uh, personnel in Colorado. Uh, the original assessment was like. Four thousand dollars. The rest of it, up to nineteen some nineteen thousand something, was all penalty and late fees. Uh, they were wanting to negotiate with us to see what we would reduce it by. Uh, we agreed to reduce the penalty only by ten percent, which brought it down to that eighteen thousand two hundred dollar mark, and they agreed to that. So uh, we figured a little less than a thousand dollars was a good trade off to to be able to get that settled. So they uh, indicated to Mickey last week that they would be sending a check for the $18,219 and we'll get that settled. So once that comes across, you'll know what that's about. But uh, we tried to use good judgment there and figured that was a pretty good deal for us and they were willing to take care of that. So uh, I, I kind of briefed you in the department head meeting and then we talked a little bit this morning, but Monday and Tuesday we get in meetings with our detention, uh, with our architects and the uh, detention uh, manufacturers and vendors and went through and, and uh, determined what doors and what windows and what locks and what hinges and what intercoms and what video cameras and everything in the jail were going to be required, where the location would be and their capabilities. We had a good meeting. so. That project continues to move forward. Uh, so, albeit slow, it seems slow, but it, uh, it is continuing to, to, to progress. So. And then, of course, we had uh, Chancey briefed in the department head meeting. We've had some rain lately, as you had noticed. And, and uh, there's been rain to the west and northwest of us, which affects us because of the rivers. Uh, as of this morning, the uh, river at Sand Springs was had raised two feet overnight to a level of 18 feet, I think five inches or so. Uh, the weather service is predicting it will crest at 27 feet tomorrow at uh, five o'clock. If that's the case, we may see some pretty decent flooding around Enterprise, potentially some in Solomon. So uh, it remains to be seen. I'm sure a lot of that is dependent on how much more rain that they get today to the northwest of us, but we're We've got our fingers crossed hoping it doesn't get to that point. In anticipation of that, Monday, uh, Solomon came over and got uh, some sandbags from us. We keep a pretty good bulk of them out at the landfill in storage, and they, they took a pallet full over, and I know that they now have sand on the ground in case they needed to start bagging. Chancey had uh, got a hold of the state and went out to Milford Lake and to the core office, I believe, there and got another pallet of 8,500 additional sandbags just so we've got them on hand um, as a precaution because when you do need those things whether it never happens at an opportune time number one number two when you need them you don't have time to go looking for them so we try to keep quite a few on hand and have for years so we're ready if the need comes up and at this point we're hoping that 
the levels will continue to subside and once it crests they'll go down and we don't have any severe flooding in our community so that's all I've got. Thank you Brad any more any questions for Brad then? Nope. Doug? On uh, October the 5th we took judgment on about uh, not about but 30 parcels of uh, real estate for the tax sale and there were several dismissals. I think we had uh, five dismissals uh, that uh, avoided the additional penalty of the $540. And uh, we have three cases that are have IRS liens upon them, and so that uh, that delays the whole process another 30 days. So as soon as the IRS time to answer has passed, then we'll be in the posture to move the case forward to uh, tax sales. And so that you have current on that one. You had a, you, you mentioned last, a uh, couple weeks ago about bad checks. Is that, is it a real problem or is it just, I Well, mean, it's, it's more of a problem than I've seen in a number of years. And, and that, that may be because we almost would have none. Uh, or, and if somebody made one, everybody who has a checking account can make that mistake. Yeah. And uh, they get a phone call and, um, and that, that didn't take care of it, then a letter. And if that doesn't take care of it, why then it moves forward from there. So I've seen more come in to me that are, um, that, um, I would want to say, it, it has the appearance of being an intentional um, check written for the purpose of getting what they need for a tag or something from there and uh, then hope to address it at a later time and a later time has been catching up with them. I can't say we've had dozens of them, right. three or four probably uh, this year, maybe a little bit more. But more than that, more than normal. More than normal. Uh, most of them through the, that I've noticed. Yeah, it. most of them through the Treasury Department. I'm sorry? Tags and Treasury. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see where, you know, somebody come in and think they write a check and think they might get the money there before they yeah. Came through. Okay. And then something got, went wrong and they didn't get the money. And so we try to work with them to avoid those the penalty fees and yeah. those things as best we can. And some do and some don't. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you. Notice and, notice and communications. <coughs> uh, we got a letter from a constituent uh, on the Medicare plans. Uh, Want to know uh, what we can do to. Uh, stop these from coming to them in the mail. Uh, we had the, the monthly report from the uh, clerk of the district court on uh, fingerprinting fees, reimbursement, and such. have a county newsletter from the NACO. We got our commission budget for how our, what, our, what we're spending for the, the commission. We got a K-Work uh, newsletter, uh, some of the stuff they offer, you know, you know, sleep, gentle sleep, uh, other ways to, you know, community tra trauma disorders, second radio learning stuff. Got a postal locality, postal city. It's uh, counties can save 40 to 70 percent compared to in house printing. Got an invitation uh, to the North Central Regional Planning Commission, which will be uh, November 9th. Uh, it'll be on a Friday at noon. Uh, I'd, I'd, any of the other two commissioners would make it. But, uh, that's your annual banquet. Yeah, right? it's going to be in the afternoon. It's going to be at Play Center. It's all well, off that. My schedule, let you know. Yeah. Uh, They've got a pretty good speaker. Yeah, too. Ed O'Malley is going to be speaking. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see if uh, Chuck might want to go, Scott, and do the. the and I'm going to go. Yeah. So that's. If you just let us know probably before next okay. week, we yeah. speak. Well, I'm, I'm going. I've already, of course, mine paid for. It's only 10, I mean, I shouldn't say only, it's only meals $10, which is. And the fact that it's just a play center. Yeah, right, and that's on this side of play center. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the Tuesday. Friday, Friday to Friday, the 9th. Oh, November, Friday, 9th. November, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, we got a resolution from the city of Abilene, a resolution fixing a time and place to appear to show cause why structures should 
not be condemned and ordered repaired or demolished and we have since we didn't have a meeting we got another county newsletter if you want to take out yeah, you want to take that out and Yeah, right Kansas. Yeah, that's You can take that out. Okay. Probably so yeah. Laverne can look at yeah. it too. We have no resolutions, unfinished business, other business. Consider approval of the project prom programming request for the bridge replacement at 2330 Moon Road. Again, that's your. The K dot form thirteen oh two uh, form that will request they program that into their system and move forward with the project. Yeah, I'll just uh, dear Goth, congratulations to your application for an off system bridge program to replace NBI structure uh, twenty two letters at twenty three thirty Moon Road or Deer Creek has been selected to be eligible for funding. I move we uh, approve. Second. Request. So move to second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> we'll go ahead and consider appointment of Nick Welburn as Grant Township Trust Treasurer. I move we appoint Nick Wilbur. Weaver. 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 I'll second that. Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The additional agendas uh, consider approval of the document regarding Diamond Vista Wind Farm. Uh, I probably asked Doug to explain that one. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. I received that. I got a call from the attorney that represents them, and what they're asking for is a certificate so that uh, if the county approves that, they would send that back to the Diamond wind farm and let them know that they had complied with everything that was required of them and that's the purpose of that certificate is for verification that uh, they have complied and everything is in order as far as the county is concerned with uh, the wind farm and assuming if that's true then uh, would anticipate an issue for it if it's if there's some issue would not want to approve that so who does the verification actually yeah. Good yes. Verification. Okay. But, that, but who does that? I yeah, that's yeah. Well, we did, Tim. Okay. Looking at the, the original permitting for the uh, electrical uh, service coming through there, we really only had one portion of that project that affected us, and that was the electrical connection that comes up to the Hope substation. Right. So all those, my understanding is, all the wind turbines down in that area that they're putting in will be feeding electricity up to that Hope substation that was put in for the pipeline. And so okay. we, there was a contractor that came in there early this year and got highway permits from us and also uh, the necessary permit, floodplain permits right. from Tim. Construction permit. That, yeah, put that system in. They complied with everything and been good to work with. We have no issues whatsoever. Uh, and of course, you got the letter that said that that wind farm was not going to come up at, at this point. Those wind turbines aren't, but another one in the future right. is going right. to. Yeah. So at that time, that that project will have to apply for a conditional use permit for the turbines, but uh, that's that hasn't occurred yet. But everything that they've done so far in our county, they've complied with. And my understanding of this is to get them some tax exempt status or something. Yes, uh -huh. to help, and they have to prove that they've paid all the taxes in all the counties that they're involved in. So, and, and that of equal importance as far as the law firm would go is that they that there's no issues because this covers a significant distance. And they would want verification from every jurisdiction that they had complied with every requirement. 
so what I guess Lynn and I was wanting to ask him, we signed this document, everybody's, everything's been approved. Yeah, everything, okay. everything it, with respect to that document yeah, right, yeah, that's, is, yeah. is above board okay. and they've satisfied us, so yeah. That's what I wondered is just who of staff had yeah. taken a look yeah. at it. Tim, uh, Tim John Goff, yeah. Okay, for the proper reviews then, um, I'd go ahead and move that we uh, approve this document regarding Diamond Vista Wind Farm. I'll second it. Been moved and second. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. The only thing left to do is approve the uh, check for twelve dollars for the give the treasurer to cut the check for twelve dollars. Uh, make, make a motion. Wait. Well, there's one other yeah. thing, but Duh. we can yeah. still do that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, the thirteen oh two. I'll go ahead and second your yeah. motion on the check and get that part out of the way. Then move. I'll second the motion. I guess I moved it. Any discussion? Not all the papers say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Consider signing form DK thirteen oh two to begin programming for the bridge project. You did that one. Yeah, that's what I saw. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You guys are. We, we, we got to run it twice. We got it. We got it on there twice. Yeah, that's, that's what when you said I haven't done anything. We're two weeks in there. I forgot that I gave it to Barb. So, <laughs> so that was, that, was that the moon road? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought I'd done it already. Yeah. All right. Yeah, is that K Don instead of D K O T? Well, yeah, that was my double finger, and it was K Don. You know, there's a lot of curveballs thrown at us on this one. Let's adjourn before we have any more discussion. One week we get out of practice, right? Really. Anything else to come before the commission? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <laughs> <laughs>